Half of what they're telling you is lies. A quarter of what they're telling you is just mixed with the truth. And then the other quarter of what they're telling you is how they feel about it. Go figure. Yo, bro. Yo, man, you might want to, uh, you know, be careful around them right there, around, around that cat. You know what I'm saying? They ain't cool. Well, man, what's wrong with them? Man, you know, they foul, man. You know what I'm saying? They'll go behind your back. They'll talk about you. They'll, they'll tell you business. You know what I'm saying? You can't trust them. You know, uh, them, you know, that person, they'll, you know, if they, if you loan them money, they won't pay you back. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, they'll smile in your face and then they'll go to the boss man and, and, and stab you in the back. You know, those kind of people. If I was you, man, I would stay away from them. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even deal with them. You know what I'm saying? Keep, keep a long handle spoon when it comes to them. You know, people that do that, talk about you, right? Talk about you maliciously. <laughs> spread rumors and lies about you. You dig? But then, this is the cold part. That's not good enough. Spreading the lies and the rumors and, and the falsehoods and slamming your name and all that kind of... That's not even good enough. No. They got to go a step beyond that. They don't even receive you. You know what I'm saying? It's not like they put up a good front, smile on your face, but really... They, they really don't like you, but they don't even receive you. You did. So not only are they talking about you, but then they don't re even receive you. They don't even respect you. They don't even receive you as a person or the comrade as a, as a, you know, fellow brother or sister or human being. They don't receive you. You're nothing to them. But even more than that, now they're turning others against you. They're telling others not to deal with you because of how they feel about you. Let's talk about it. But before we do that, please remember to subscribe to the channel. It didn't cost you a thing to do that. Make sure that you like this video, share with everyone you know, right? I greatly appreciate it. It'll help someone to get this encouraging information. It might brighten the day. It might help lighten their load. You feel me? And also, Please hit that bell notification so you're always notified whenever I upload content. And I upload daily. Let's get this channel to a thousand subscribers. You dig? Now let's get into the content. Let's read the scripture and then I'm going to let y'all go on on this hump day. Yeah, you know what it is, man. We're at the top of the week. The rest of the week is all downhill. You dig? The scripture is coming out of the third epistle of John, right? Starting at the 10th through the 11th verse, and it reads, wherefore, if I come, I will remember his deeds with he doeth, pranting against us with malicious words, and not content wherewith, neither do he himself receive the brethren, nor forbade them that would, and cast them out of the church. Behold, beloved, follow that which is, follow not that which is evil, but that which is good. He that doeth good is of God, but he that doeth evil hath not seen God. So don't follow after those that do evil, but follow after them that do good, because those that do good are of God and those that do evil, haven't even seen God. You dig? The third epistle of John, uh, verses 10 and 11. Haters. <laughs> yeah, haters. We all got them. And I'm going to tell you something. If you don't have no haters, you better get you some. <laughs> you dig? Because if you don't have no haters, that means there's something that you're not doing right. If everybody loves you and everybody agrees with you and everybody's on your side, something you're doing wrong. Because we all should have some haters when we're doing things the right way. When we're doing things the correct way and the right way, it's going to rub some people the wrong way. That's just how it is. You dig? 
But if no one disagrees with you, if no one has a problem with you, if everyone thinks you're the best things in sliced bread, you better be careful. You better watch who's around you and who's in your ear and who's pumping you up because, um, yeah, that's not a good deal. We all need some haters. Haters keep us on our knees. Haters keep us engaged with the father and keeps us obedient to the master. <laughs> you dig? If you ain't got somebody talking about you, you know, putting false rumors out about you, malicious words about you, then I would suspect, you know, you to check yourself because that's what haters do. You know what I'm saying? They, they put false things out about you. They talk behind your back, right? They, they're very malicious in their intent with their words and how they spread rumors and lies and deceitful things mixed with a little truth, right? So, but not only do the, do they do that, because some people are not just happy with that. You know, they can see you and talk, hey, look what they got on or look, you know, look, they looking crazy. Or, you know, I heard, I heard this or I heard that. So-and-so said this, I heard a little bird say, I heard through the grapevine, right? But they spreading all this garbage and false stuff. But some people are not happy with that. That's not good enough. They got to, they got to take it further. You know, some people like that. They got to, they got to go to the next level especially when you don't let things bother you. When you act like you don't even see it, it doesn't even affect you. Why? Because you on them ego wings. <laughs> you dig, you, you soaring in the, in the stratosphere. You know what I'm saying? You up here and they down here. And so that's not good enough. They got to take it to the next level. And so now they don't even receive you. You dig? They might have spoken, you know, you speak in the morning or, you know, um, um, have little small conversation here or there, or whatever. Now they don't even receive you at all. They don't look your direction. They don't acknowledge you. You know what I'm saying? There's no, there's no, even in the workplace, there's no camaraderie. It's just, you know, I go another way when I see you coming, or if I got a passion, I'm just not even looking your direction. I don't receive anything you say. If I have to deal with you, it's only necess when necessary, I'm only going to call you or deal with you, even speak to you on a name basis in a very professional way, only when it's absolutely necessary because I don't receive you. You dig? That's not even good enough for some people. Yeah, that's not good enough. Some people, they got to even take it a step further. Now I'm going to encourage others to feel the same way I do about you. I'm going to encourage others not to deal with you, not to, you know, I'm going to spread false rumors about you. All the stuff I was saying, now I'm going to pass that along to others who may not know you, may not know nothing about you, haven't been introduced to you, or they may know you, may know you for years. But now I'm going to push dissension into that relationship. I'm going to, to, to try to destroy any type of relationships that you have, right? Because I want others to feel about you the way I feel about you. Do you know anybody like that? Do you know people like that? I'm sure we have family members. We know people in, <laughs> in our churches and synagogues. We know people, you know, on the job. We know people that we just have seen in the neighborhood and have heard things around about the way somebody knows somebody that is like that, that has evil intent, evil desire in their heart like that. Because when you can do those things to someone, that means there's evil within you. When you recognize evil in a person that does, does things like that, right? Be careful, be warned. Because you're being allowed to see it for a reason. Don't turn a blind eye. Don't ignore it. There's a reason why you're there's a reason why the, the spirit is allowing you to see the evil intent and the evil of a person's heart by their actions and by the things that they say. Right. What we need to remember is that there's always going to be someone that doesn't receive us. 
right? Talks bad about us, doesn't receive us and will spread rumors and lies about us. But let us remember that God always, always has a ram in the bush. You dig? So when you see someone is treating you like that, don't trip because guess what? There's someone else that will receive you. There's someone else that is not going to talk about you and talk bad about you and, and, and try to, you know, get you put out the house, get you try to put out a church, get you try to kick off your job. You know what I'm saying? There's going to be someone that is going to receive you. They're not going to be against you. Not going to just have evil intent against you because God always has a ram in the bush. You dig? Fret not for your haters. Fret not for those people that are, are, are lying falsely on us and saying all kind of matter of stuff about us, right? Don't, don't, don't get frazzled. Don't get frustrated. Don't trip. Don't get, you know, your panties in a bunch because it's going to happen. Scripture tells us it's going to happen. And matter of fact, when we see it happening, it should cause us to rejoice, to let us know that we're on the right track. You know what I'm saying? We're doing some things that's disrupting the kingdom of, of darkness. And because we're doing things to disrupt the kingdom of darkness, oh, he is sending out the haters in full force. You dig? But be encouraged because that means that we're on the right track. And where there's people that are say all this false stuff about us and, and talk bad about us and not receive us, God has got a whole bunch of others that will receive us, that will speak well of us. You dig? And that they'll be ready to assist and help us. So be encouraged on this hump day. Love y'all. Remember, Lamella E, love, uplift, motivate, inspire, learn, laugh, encourage, and enlighten. Why? Because we can unify. You dig? Your man, LaVon, love y'all. I'm out. Check out some of the other videos. Don't forget to share this video and tell everyone and your friends about the daily motivating content that they can get on this channel. I'm out.